What's up, everyone? While I was uh, while I was drinking my morning coffee, I actually got to think that but there was something missing from the announcement yesterday, and I didn't I didn't see it yesterday. But today I was starting to think all the things that was was said uh, in the in the announcement in the statement, and I was like, ah, huh, that's interesting. Uh, before we go any further, remember to subscribe. I upload daily content here like the video comment down below uh, what you think about the future of this thing let's continue the thing itself so this was the announcement one thing you can't find in this announcement or any of the notes here is anything about hazard zone portal mode is actually said uh, like mentioned in in the announcement but the other new thing hazard zone isn't that could mean a couple of things we all know that hazard zone uh, Hazard Zone's player base has been dropping quite drastically since the launch. I think it was just a couple of hundred concur uh, concurrent players uh, a week ago or something. I remember that Tom Henderson tweet about it, uh, about the numbers being really, really, really low. And I've actually tried to play Hazard Zone throughout, like, 2022, and it's really hard to find matches. And when you find matches, it doesn't really have any other human players so it's kind of pointless to play so is this ea's way of saying that they are actually thinking of getting rid of hazard so i don't think that's a good thing i don't think that's a good idea because i i still believe hazard zone is potentially the best thing about battlefield 2042 if they just invest enough time to fix it but the problem is i don't think ea has enough time because they have to fix everything basically so they need to prioritize and hazard zone just ha happens to be in the bottom of the priority list but if they just spend a little time on hazard zone it could be the best game mode i've made a video about five things hazard zone needs and that's still viable today the video will be recommended now so yeah this was really alarming to me that they left hazard zone completely off from here also yesterday was the earnings call and ea's ceo said that ah, Battlefield 2042 did not meet expectation that's putting it lightly that's putting it really fucking lightly and also they didn't want to disclose at all how many copies battlefield 2042 was sold which is kind of a crazy thing if you think about it they didn't they said that it's not important well let us be the judge of that. Tell us the number and let us be the judge of that. They were they were saying that it's not important because the percentage of their earnings, it was so low that it, it's like insignif insignificant. So yeah, that's my short video about Battlefield for 2042. I've, I'm afraid for Hazard Zone and I think that they might pull the plug on Hazard Zone. Let's hope that that's not the case because, well, I actually enjoyed Hazard Zone and now if they're bringing the voice chat back, I think Hazard Zone may have a future. They need to do a lot more. Go check my video about that. Yeah, the community also wasn't that happy about this. Like, Reddit and Twitter was completely blasting this uh, announcement. I think that wasn't that bad. I think uh, there was a bit of an overreaction from the community. But again, uh, EA didn't do this voluntarily. This was forced from them, so remember that. Even though we can't be happy that they are now saying what they're gonna do, and they give, gave us a, a, like a time span, but they didn't do voluntary, uh, this voluntarily. It's a good thing we know what's going to happen, but we need to remember that they already fucked up pretty bad. But yeah, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.